In this video, we're going to take a look at the reciprocal trig functions. Now, there's three reciprocal trig functions that you need to be familiar with. The first one here is secant. The way we denote that here is sec x. And this is the reciprocal now of cosine of x. It's going to be 1 over cos x. Okay, so that's sec x, which is equal to 1 over cos x. The next reciprocal trig function here is cosec, so cosecant. We denote that here as cosec of x. Okay, and this is the reciprocal now of sine x. It's going to be 1 over sine x. And our final reciprocal trig function here is cotangent. And we denote this here as cot x. Okay, and you might already guess it. This is going to be the reciprocal now of tan x, so 1 over tan x there. So that's the three reciprocal trig functions that we need to be familiar with. Now for cut x here, we can use our trig identity, so use him. Tan x here is identical to sin x over cos x. So hopefully you are familiar with this identity from the first year of study. Then I can rewrite this here, so this is the same as 1 over sin x over cos x. So sin x over cos x. Okay. And in this case, then, if we've got 1 divided by this fraction here, this is just going to be cos x over sin x. Okay. So do be aware that you can rewrite cos x in this form here. That's particularly useful when we're taking a look at identities and solving any equations that do involve identities. Okay. Now, how do we remember these reciprocal trig functions? So whether sec x is going to be 1 over cos x, 1 over sin x, or 1 over tan x. Well, the way to recognize it is to actually take a look at the third letter in each reciprocal function here. So sec x, the third letter here, so let's do it in a different color. That would be the C here. So that tells us that it's cosine, 1 over cosine. For cosec then, the third letter here is the S. So that tells us it's 1 over sine here. So matching up the letters. And then finally for cotangent here, so cot x, again the third letter is t, that tells us it's 1 over tangent, okay? So that's how we remember, um, but like I said, with a lot of practice with these type of questions, we'll obviously get very used to this um, very quick. So it won't be too much of an issue, but just to get started, if you do struggle, that's a nice easy way to um, memorize the reciprocal trig functions. Now you will need to find um, values of these reciprocal trig functions. And obviously the way to do that is to just use the reciprocal definition. So for example, if I want to find the value of cot of 45 degrees here, what I'd do then is I'd find 1 over tan of 45 degrees. Okay. Well, obviously a tan of 45 degrees is 1, so this would just be the same as 1 over 1, giving me 1 there. Okay. Clearly if I wanted, say, cosec of 60 degrees, that would be 1 over sine of 60 degrees. Again, you just put all that into your calculator and you get a value there. Okay, so we're not going to take a look at any kind of practice questions based on this video. Like I said, just an introduction to the reciprocal trig functions. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this video on introducing the reciprocal trig functions. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the graphs of the reciprocal trig functions.